unaongea kwamba Mungu ako na watu wake sio kila mtu ambaye unaona hapa ni watu wa Mungu ndio aliwaumba lakini Mungu ako na watu wake kama unaona na kudanganya usikia kutoka kwa kinywa cha Mungu fungua second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 kuna mtu ambaye anachukizwa na hii maandiko nyingi huyu mhubiri analeta maandiko mengi. Kuna mtu anasikia kuboeka. Hebu angalia ajenda yako ilikuwa ni nini. Je wewe una utakatifu ama ulitoka? Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Hebu sikia kinywa cha Mungu kinaongea. Hebu sikia Sikia na nataka we usome mwenyewe inasemaje aya 1 2 3 go with his people who are called by his name God has got his people who are called by his name Kama wewe ni wa Mungu sema amen Wow kama kuna mahali umesema amen ya nguvu kwa sababu unataka kuitanishwa na Mungu ndio hapo <laughs> And God is saying if my people God has got his own people These people who are they They are the people who have been called by the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa msichana, mchanga, mbichi na umeiva lakini wewe ni wa Yesu. Ai, siju kama umepata hiyo vile nimeenda. Unaweza kuwa msichana, uko mrembo, uko mbichi umeiva unaonekana smart lakini wewe unaitanishwa na jina la Bwana I mean you look beautiful Say amen And the young people vijana unaona wako barubaru wa, wa, vijana ambao ni nadhifu vijana ambao ni watanashati vijana ambao ukiwaangalia unasema wow lakini ukiwaangalia hawa watu wameitanishwa na jina la Mungu. Vijana sema amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hawa ni watu ambao maandiko inaongea. Mungu anasema, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. Wao ukitaka kujua wewe umeitanishwa na jina la Mungu. Qualification ya kwanza Mungu anapeana ni kwamba you have to be humble. Shall people who are called by the name of God are humble. Utakatifu hauendi na mtu ambaye ako na kiburi. Sema amen. Hii subject najua nimeanza na kusema hii subject huwa haipendi na watu. Kwa sababu huwa huwa inataka uwe kama vile Mungu alivyo. Na naye kusababisha usiipende ni shetani kwa sababu shetani hataki wewe ukae kama vile Mungu alivyo. Mungu amesema kwamba be holy because I am holy. Kuwa mtakatifu kama vile mimi nilivyo mtakatifu and without which you will not see God. Kwa hivyo tusihadane hapa. Haleluya. Eh tusipakane mafuta. Eh hey, nisikupatie maneno ambayo yatakuchangamsha ya, ku, ya kuinue uinuke hata useme amen kama umesimama kwa kiti hata ikiwezekana unapanda juu ile kitu unasema amen and then wewe haujui kwamba bila utakatifu hautamwona Mungu Unajua kuna mwingine alisema kwamba ah wacha ni kule raha kifo chaja mimi raha na kula kifo chaja. Msichana unadanganywa kula raha na kupeleka kwa beach. Kijana nakukimbiza mnaenda kwa beach na kwa sababu mnataka kula raha mnakaa pale mpaka very late na mkikaa very late kijana anakuambia ah we nikalie tu. 
kati kila mtu yuko wewe oh, oh, nikalia tu ni mapenzi the next minute wewe ulipata mimba kwa kukalia kijana wewe umepelekwa beach unadanganywa mimi nataka kusema hii kuna wengine hapa you are experience of sex You are first experience of sex. Mimi wa ninahubiria vijana. Kwa hivyo I will so wakati mwingine I'm so blunt. Ninakwambia kila macho kinauma. Na afadhali nitoneshe hicho jipu alafu upone. Afadhali nikidunge dunge na nitoe ile usaha alafu upone. Haleluya! Shetani ameze wembe na aende kuzimu. Eh hey, apate moto na aende kuzimu. Kwanza kama saa hizi washikane wawili wawili alafu ninawafunga moto wanaenda kama mbweha. Haleluya. I'm saying this some of you here. Kuna milango zimefunguka maisha ni mwenu. Mibaya. Kitu kinaitwa sex it opens doors for demons. And some of you sex you not you did not your first sex you did not experience it outside you experience it in your family members Don't say ah hii ni kitu ambayo mimi nahubiri kwa wanafunzi Mtu msichana nakwambia my first experience of sex I knew it from my cousin wewe unadanganywa na si mtu ule ambaye yuko mbali unadanganywa na ule mtu ambaye uko karibu na wewe na kuambia i am not your blood brother and so mnacheza cheza mnacheza cheza mnashikana shikana mkishamaliza kushikana the next minute mlipata moto nyote mkikuja kugundua wa already mmeshafanya mambo mabaya na dakika hiyo mnaanza kuoneana haya dakika hiyo mnaanza kuchukia na mlango wa chuki unafunguka siku zote sex outside marriage huwa inafungua milango kwa mapepo kama wewe unataka kuwa mtakatifu stay away from sex the bible says that flee flee kimbia 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 torokea Na hii kitu kinaitwa sex sio kwa wanafunzi peke yake Mimi naongea hivi kwa sababu hapa kuna wengine ambao wana service Nisikize hii Kuna wengine hapa vijana wana service sugar mummies It is happening in this world it is happening here in south coast it is happening here in msambweni It is happening in your neighborhood. Girls are after married couples or a married man. Where is holiness? Holiness ilitoka kitambo ikaenda kwa sababu kama kuna kitu wa kinaenda kinaitwa ni holiness. Huwa inaenda Haiwezi kukaa mahali ambapo mtu ako na mawazo machafu. We unakaa peke yako umechukua kitu kinaitwa squeeze tuko na smartphone. Umechukua smartphone hata ya mzazi wako. We umeifungua, umedownload mambo mengine, umeingia kwa sehemu zingine unaanza kuona pornography. Mimi pornography nilijua mara ya kwanza nikiwa high school. Mimi nakuelezea kunihusu and that is in in form 2 1992 haya nyinyi nyote ni watoto wangu huyu ni mzazi anaongea na nyinyi sasa wacha kuniangalia kama mhubiri niangalie kama mzazi naongea na wewe hello nikiwa high school kuna kijana alikuja na kitabu 
by then hatukuwa na digital phones hatukuwa na digital phones so tumekaa darasani kumbe kuna kitabu naona kinatembezwa chini kwa chini kwa desk lakini ni chini kwa chini mambo mengi ambayo si mazuri huwa yanafanywa chini kwa chini ama siku hizi nasikia wanasema chini ya maji inafanywa chini ya maji and then mimi nikataka kujua kwani ni nini hii ambayo naona kijana kila mtu anachukua anaangalia alafu mwingine anaitisha haya inasongeza mwingine anaangalia unapoangalia hizo picha za pornography maroho yanaingia ndani yako ya tamaa ya mwili kama kuna mahali ambapo utakatifu unakaa nimesema ni kwa moyoni na moyoni kuna njia tatu za moyoni ni njia moja ni ya macho kuingia kwa moyo wako njia ya pili ni masikio ya tatu nataka uende ufanye homework ujue ni gani nimekupatia homework ya tatu uende kutafuta ya kuingia kwa moyo wako ni gani sasa hapa ipo nography niliona mara ya kwanza form 2 mimi ikaletewa nikaiangalia sijaokoka wakati huo nikaiangalia nikasema he, he? yako hivi haya kidogo yameondoka mwingine akaitisha akavuta haraka ilizunguka kwa darasa alieleta siku mjua lakini kitu najua ni kwamba nilifanya namna gani niliona mimi nasema hivi kama tunaongea kuhusu utakatifu Unajua saa hizi wachungaji wanaletewa wanandoa. And then kuna ile time ya counseling. Wanaulizwa, wanaambiwa, wanaelekezwa, wakishapitia kila stage wanakuja wanaelekezwa kwa stage ya sasa ya bedroom. Kunakuwa namna gani? Eh unajua kwa bedroom kuna kuanga na hivi na hivi na hivi. Siku hizi tunaongelesha watu kuhusu mambo ya bedroom na ni watu ambao tayari wali practice from high school kutoka high school hata ukiwaambia already hao wanajua mpaka styles that is how rotten the world is i am bringing you the picture of the world and the thing that is the devil is trying to bring inside of you kwa hivyo kama wewe unataka kumuona Mungu mimi niko point blank si bahatishi na sitakubembeleza kuwa mtaka na Mungu waswahili wanasema Mungu si Asmani haya Mungu si Josefu unachopanda ndicho utafanya nini saa hizi wewe ni msichana ama kijana unakimbia kimbia na kutoroka na msichana huyu unaenda na yule mwingine unaenda na yule mwingine alafu unasema kwamba ah siku hii kuna mwingine amezunguka ulimwenguni amefanya vituko kijana alafu amekuja kanisani ameokoka akasema mimi nataka nipate bikira anaambia Mungu nataka nipate bikira Mungu ngo yeye si atumani ulifanya hizo vituko huko ulimwenguni anakupea kulingana na aina yako ambayo pia imeokoka wewe si umeokoka basi pia Mungu anakuwa ameokokesha mwingine wa aina yako alafu anawapeana nyinyi wote wawili Pigia bwana Yesu makofi haleluya Lakini wewe ukijitunza wewe ukijitunza katika hiyo hii ujitunze sasa na uweke useme matumaini yangu ya leo na kesho ni kwa Mungu. Wakati wako wa kufika wa ndoa, Mungu atakupatia aina yako. Lakini kama pia umeokoka na unachenga hivi leo uko umeokoka, kesho uko huku, jambo likitokea uko kule, Diamond akikuja wewe ndio huyo. Alikiba akitokea wewe ndio huyo. Nani akitokea wewe ndio huyo? Na ikifika kani, uh, ikifika wakati wa CU wewe ndio namba 1. Hata ndio unacheza kabisa pale mbele. Haleluya. 
lakini alikiba ikisikika ako hapa nje ama ako pale msambweni leo ndio yuko ako jioni ndio sasa kinaumana vizuri huyo huyo ambaye uliona ako hapa kwa sababu amehana utakatifu ndani yake yeye ndio wa kwanza kwa alikiba hebu nauliza nyimbo ile nzuri alikiba huwa inaimba namna gani haupendi alikiba haya eh niambie diamond diamond nyimbo yake nzuri ni gani aa wewe haujui nyamaza kuna wale wanajua hebu niambie oh zote zake ni nzuri sasa si unasikia kuna mwenye anasema hata eh inaitwaje eh si mimi nakwambia wako hapa alikiba akitokea hapa ako pale ah nyinyi mnabo huyo anaenda zake Biblia imesema na Mungu habahatishi amesema hivi Ni aidha ukue moto hata katika ujana huu ama uwe baridi Hii ni injili ya nyakati za mwisho Na injili hii hautaipata na wahubiri wengi Halo. Injili hii si ya nyakati za mwisho. Injili hii ni injili ya dakika ya dakika za mwisho. Kitabu cha Hebu fungua Revelation 22. The last scripture I'm reading. Revelation 22. I want to you to hear this. Verse 11. I want you to read it in your own version in your Bible and also see it on the screen. And get to know God is so serious about his own people. When I'm preaching like this, I'm not preaching to the students alone. I am preaching to myself and I'm also preaching to the teachers who are here and the students who are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is it saying? Mungu amefika mwisho because this is revelation. Amefika mwisho na mwisho anasema kama wewe unataka kuwa mwasharati endelea kuwa mwasharati kabisa